everyone welcome to my channel netflix in this video i am going to explain you how to create a link between your database and your a php file means how you can just manually insert your uh, any data into your php file with the help of uh, into your php database with the help of simple sql query so starting with the first part we can say here as uh, when you install xamp server onto your system uh, then we have we can just type here as localhost php my admin so if i am going to type here as localhost php my admin it will be opening a database uh, the mysql database into your web browser so i have to click on a databases and in the database name i will create a name as as1 so as1 is the new database that i am going to create so this is the database i have created as1 so in the as1 as uh, here the server is there and the database as1 is selected in this we can just create a table named spent that will be having a two columns uh, i can press press on go the one will be of name and the second one we can say it's marks so name uh, we can give here as varchar 255 length and marks will be uh, of integer that is of 11 length so uh, varchar will varchar data type uh, will be uh, having both alphabet and numeric values uh, whereas uh, the integer data type will be having only the number value so the length of varchar is 255 the maximum length and the integer length is 11 so i am going to click here on this save button so in the as1 database a student table is been created that is having the two columns one is the name that is of type varchar and the second one is the marks that is having a type of integer so moving to the next part and uh, now i am creating a php file so first of all i am going to create a connect variable connect variable so mysql i connect is a function is a inbuilt function uh, i am going to explain you all these parameters uh, first of all we are going to save this as a simple connect dot php file so mysql i connect is a function an inbuilt function in the php localhost uh, is basically your server name it's a server name is your username the blank is the password uh, that you are going to type and the last one is your database name so right now database name is your as1 so i can just write here as as1 so if the connection is been made then basically it is going to display uh, as a true and if the connection failed uh, then it will be showing a message as connection failed so if i am going to run this uh, we can have uh, i have saved this file as connect so nothing is been uh, like displayed it means uh, the connection is returning uh, true it has been uh, like connected to my database if i am going to type here as a so a is not having any database on the back end So we don't have any database with the name a so it's displaying a message as connection failed so in this way you can just uh, like put your uh, database you can just connect your database with the help of mysql i underscore connect function so moving to the next part we will be uh, creating a query so for query uh, it's insert into insert into it's a table name table name is the student so insert into student uh, the name and marks are the two column names so you have to remind one thing that uh, the varchar type column will always be having the value in the single quote so we can uh, because name is a varchar so here the john uh, which i am going to insert into your table should be in the single quote because name is a type a name column is of type varchar so i am i am going to separate this with comma so in the marks as we know that marks is a integer or type so we can just write a simple marks over here without single quote then there is a inbuilt function as mysql_query 
here we can pass two parameters one is a uh, the connection to which your database has been connected so right now we are going to be connected with as1 and the second argument is a query uh, uh, which query you need to execute it into your as1 database so uh, my sqli query is an inbuilt function that is going to execute this query this query into your this database the connection ref uh, the variable which is holding so if it is returning true means uh, the value has been inserted into your database then it is this function will be returning true and if value is not inserted into your database then this query will be returning false so if the query is returning true then it is going to display a message of record inserted and if it has been uh, like returning a, a false then it is going to display a message as record not inserted so connect so uh, like it looks great uh, like my data has been inserted into my backend so record inserted message has been displayed so if i'm going to check this uh, then i need to go into my localhost php my admin and i'm going to click here on the student table so by clicking on the student table uh, like we uh, here the name is john which i have been written over here and uh, the marks is 100 so that is being uh, like placed over here so in this way you can just insert your database from your uh, with the help of simple query into your uh, mysql database so i hope you like my video and if you like my video do like and subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest tutorials of php so do subscribe to my channel in the next video i'm going to insert uh, the database with the help of form so do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching watching my video